Hello, hi, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 Legendary Long War with me, Sick the Zero. I am a little bit sick. <laughs> sea Monkey TV, do you think I'm gonna kill them with a passion? I like the way you think, Sea Monkey TV. Alright, so we. I am I'm a bit scared right now. Um, we've had one pot of like two people. And that was like really, really easy. We did scan. Scorpion 5 reminded us that we have scanners. So we scanned on the right and there was nothing there. So let's get closer to the building. Still nothing. Oh man. Uh, don't want to take a peek in that window. Might as well. Let's stay just a little bit behind though. Nothing. Okay. Wow, that is perplexing. Can anyone take that cover except the purple man? Not really. So we're gonna move in, but very slowly then. We're just gonna move into this line over here. Headed there now. It's not very cold in Canada yet, Sea Monkey TV. This is it's it's fall, it's still um Absolutely. It's still nice, it's just very rainy. And uh, it's starting to get already. cold. Uh, but it, there's no freezing just yet. So it's it's still fine for us. The really really cold month is February, but it's gonna get progressively colder as we approach it. Of course. All right, we're gonna have a lot of Overwatch here. Overwatch. Scanning. Because I'm expecting these guys to walk into us at any time, and I'm not gonna throw our other scanner. We're gonna keep that one, just in case. Can we get any auditory cues? Nope, but we can get. Two Vipers and a Muton. Do I have do I have a shot on No. Only Scruffy 5 can see them. And Scruffy 5 cannot move right now. Uh, right. Now I would love to activate this with a grenade. That would be absolutely beautiful, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. So what we're going to do instead is that we're going to take some some uh, good defensive position behind some heavy cover. Je vais en position. And we're going to wait an extra turn, and then we're going to see if we can't uh, Finally. give it to them next turn. Let's try not to activate on the left here. <sighs> hmm. We could bring Black Death really close. I like that idea. With the shotgun, we need to be close to these guys. And we're gonna have our run and gun available again for next turn. Roger that. Let's do that. I can hear turrets as well. Let's bring Bazaxabel over here. here I come. We haven't met any robots. We heard robots, but we haven't met them yet. So, Bazaxabel is less useful so far, but I'm sure he'll become quite useful anytime. Hmm. Let's get Hypno Joker over here for now. Will do. <sighs> yes, Sea Monkey TV. I have ice fished over a frozen lake. Uh, when I was much younger and I will tell you it was super boring like imagine normal fishing is really boring but imagine you're doing normal fishing but without a fishing cane so you don't even get to do anything there's just a, a wire and you're sitting there and it's freaking cold and you're in this tiny little cabin and it stinks and then like every now and then you pull the thing and there's some tiny little fishes and then when you try to eat these fishes they're full of fish bones like you cannot eat these fish they're just Full of fish bones are terrible. That was my experience with ice fishing. <laughs> Your experience may vary, but I didn't. I didn't like it. Overwatch. All right, they are still right there. Now, if I open this door, we're gonna activate. Do I want to do this? I mean, this is a strong position. But they're going to be inside the house, which is going to be annoying to deal with. And I might have to reveal Scruffy 5 if I do that. 
because they, they're gonna jump out probably or they're gonna be like right there and then I might have to move well, this is not a it's not an easy call actually I mean I can go in and just slash him but scorpy 5 is pinned down here uh, I can wait I can let them go uh, but then they're gonna be on the roof. I don't want them on the roof. Might go on the roof anyway. Oh my god, I am... <laughs> I mean, like ice fishing, I guess, if you're doing it as a sort of relaxing thing... Because it's very relaxing, right? Because you're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there, There's just nothing. You hear the wind and everything. So if you could do it like... But as a kid, I, you know... You don't want to relax. You want to. You want to jump up. You want to do things. So it was very boring as a kid. But maybe as an adult. I mean, there's loads of awesome things to do here in the winter. Uh, like if you get the chance to go uh, do some uh, snowmobile, like ski do, that is so freaking awesome. Those things are dangerous as hell. But they're like ski do on a lake. You can get like crazy speed. Like I don't know, that. Anyway. All right. Let's open this door. That, enough. Enough wishy washing. I'm opening this door. I'm gonna regret this. Hey there! Alright. So, first shot. We got a um, somewhat exposed 84 here. We got an 85 over, uh, 88 over here, which I think I'm gonna take, and we might as well take our precision shot. Did that kill it? I think it killed it. No, one hit point. God damn it, Soul Moose with the one hit points. Alright, but that's alright because we got Purple Man here who doesn't have a shot. That's problematic. And this guy is scary. Right. I mean move to here and slash this guy that's almost a guaranteed kill then we're gonna have to use uh, grenades to uh, open up more lines of fire or I can run and gun here and shoot I think this is a bit safer. Let's run and gun. Going in for the kill. Over here. Copy that. Got some oh no! Okay, that changes thing. Uh, we are probably gonna mimic beacon. And you dodged. That didn't do much. We're gonna have to reveal Scruffy 5 here. What have I got? We're gonna have to reveal Scruffy 5. Okay, I can walk here and shotgun this guy. Or I can slash him. Oh man. <sighs> Will he be flanked if I slash? I mean, he could be flanked by this guy. Uh, it would be flanked by this guy, but I'm killing this guy with a grenade. Like, I'm gonna grenade the entrance here to open up some better. Actually. Uh, we're probably gonna have to use a rocket launcher over here. Because I, I think uh, incendiary grenades don't really break, break cover. So we're gonna need to rocket launcher this area, kill this guy, open up this. Um, so we're gonna be in cover, but we're gonna be McBeacon because this thing is way too dangerous. 
So I think we're gonna flash not you, you here. And even if even if he dodges, it's gonna it should be enough damage to kill him anyway. This is not a good situation. I am quite aware of that. But I don't have much other choices. Okay. Alright, thank you, Scruffy5. We also have... I could move the purple man to a position where he can see this guy, in which case we can kill him without expanding a grenade. Well, we're gonna be in a half cover. But that's not the end of the world because... Do I really want to mimic beacon on this? I have to. There's gonna be too many people to shoot at me. And there are some big guys that will be able to shoot at me. I need to buy myself a turn. Okay, so let's... Let's keep that grenade. So this guy's dead. Also, Scruffy 5's got 100% dodge. We have to remember that. Now, let's bring Jesus over here. And let's put that Mimic Beacon somewhere that everyone can see. I think over... Somewhere that's kind of far from the rest of the guys so that he doesn't get grenaded so I'm thinking somewhere like right I really want this guy to see the mimic beacon though maybe someone like somewhere like here okay everyone should see this mimic beacon um, I mean I could have hacked this guy that's true I didn't think of that I get a shot. We can start shooting at him. Let's move already. Yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, if I bring Hypnodroker over here, he can take another shot. Over here. I don't want the mutant. And just in case the mutant can't see the mimic beacon, which I doubt, I don't want him to see Hypno Joker. Out. That's a miss. Enemy is still up. Please, no grenades. Look at that mimic beacon. He's got some moves. No grenades. Plus no grenade. Okay, good. Good, good. This guy might not be able to see the mimic beacon though. What's he doing? Area suppression. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Well, I got one thing to say to that area suppression. And... Oh my. That's actually not that good. 64%. Come on, Soul Moose. You can solve that problem for us. Even if you leave him on one hit point, I won't be mad. Yeah, okay, I'm a bit okay, mad. Okay, um, you're area suppressed, but you are not area suppressed. You could run over here and throw a grenade at this guy. Which I maybe I should have done first so that I could then finish him off with the sniper. We can finish this guy with combat protocol, but I'm not... Unless it becomes absolutely necessary to do that, I would rather not do that.
Could probably finish him off with the purple man. Or... We can move the purple man to flank. This, this guy has a lot of health. This guy has a ton of health. Okay, let's finish up the advent mech. That was not enough. Let's finish up the advent mech for real this time. We're gonna need to absolutely explode this guy. Do I rocket launcher or do I fire? If I fire, I'm not gonna explode the cover, which is gonna make hitting him a lot harder. Oh my god, this is this is I'm expanding, but this this is some tough enemies. I think it's worth expanding a lot of stuff, because these are some really tough enemies. So we shredded two armor, we blew up all of his cover. So now he's completely out in the open. So we can start laying it on him. Seven damage and hollow targeted. Uh, that does mean that Bazaxidil can probably... Mm, needs to roll a six to finish him. It's possible. So let's try to get it. Come on, Bazaxabel. Yes, nice crit. Okay, that. Oh, you got hair trigger, free action. Okay, that's rare. Um, okay, we gotta check. We can either combat protocol this guy to make him stop doing his thing, or we can rush him with Zulu and just throw a grenade, chuck a grenade at him, and then finish him off with Scruffy 5. We might reveal more if we do that, though. But I think this is the right move. And that's using another grenade. Or one of my combat protocols. Let's, um, let's use the grenade. Good copy. Moving on target. Ah, shh. Crap. Okay, please tell me that... Okay. Alright, so... Things have gotten a bit more complex. We're gonna haywire protocol the heavy turret. My god, it's got four freaking... Let's... Let's hope we don't reveal anything with this haywire. Sixty-five percent. Come on, Bill. Stop shaking everything! Please do it! Please do it! Okay, yes. Turret is disabled. Okay, that's that's great. That's bought us some time on this thing. So now we're gonna we're gonna grenade this guy, getting to stop what he's doing. Overwatch removed, and he still got some. Mm. He still got some cover. And we can slash him, but we might reveal if we do that. We could grenade him again. That would kill him. But the easiest way to deal with this is going to be with a grenade. So it'd be a bit silly to uh, waste a grenade on that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring Scruffy 5 up top over here. And I hope that the uh, height advantage does it for us.
87%. Alright. Okay. Woo! Okay. What do we got left? That's their turn. Oh, everything is burning and exploding. Alright. Let's take a short break right here. Thanks for watching. He's dead. He's not dead. He's dead. He's not dead. He's dead. This is like the gu the guilty pleasure of XCOM. So, it's gonna suit your rash, right? You got a rash, you put this on, but your skin's gonna get inflamed, you're gonna start hallucinating, and you're gonna have a hard time breathing. That's not the best of medicines. In Flanders Fields, the puppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders Fields. Pick up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break fate with us who die, we shall not sleep, though puppies grows in Flanders fields.